Ooh, if you use code SPOOKY15, you get 15% off my match store. Links in the description. Yeehaw! Time to troll! You cannot get more self-explanatory than this. This champion, hands down, easiest top lane, easier than Garen, easier than AP Nor, let me tell you why. Trundle has what I like to call lazy lifesteal, because he gains HP when minions die. Funny thing is though, he doesn't even have to last hit them like everybody else. He doesn't even need to hit them like anybody else. He could be the worst at CSing in the whole game, and that's okay. Because funny le French le funny troll. <laughs> he still heals, he still dances, he still <sighs> pushes the top lane right the way in. Forget Shen, Trind, and Garen, this is the split push you want. He's fat, he's round, he bounces off the ground, it's Trundle! Now, now listen, my fellow gamers, don't you think it's a good idea? You know the way the Cassiopeia can't buy boots? Well, I think Trundle shouldn't be able to buy Spirit Visage. Just, just a thought. Just a little idea for you to ponder over at Riot. Mm, yes. Fun gaming gamer fact! Trundle's fun pole that knocks you up if you place it directly under people deals a hidden one true damage, which is why the tower always hits you whenever you do it when you tower dive, so stop doing that, okay? As if this champion couldn't be any easier, if lazy lifesteal is not enough to convince you, this Q is basically an execute. This dude bites you, yes there are teeth behind those luscious lips, and they hurt. This guy should be wearing a padded helmet to be honest, I mean he is so easy mode, the more I think about it, I can't believe Trundle actually exists. They made a champion who can carry in solo Q, team communication, don't worry about it, nah nah nah, Trundle overextends into scary areas, he's got his W which is aptly named... I don't know how you pronounce this. How do you pronounce this? Inside this frozen circle, you get bonus attack speed, bonus movement speed, so a quick escape or brawl is always on the table. Or you can just drop it to amplify. Yes, you heard that correctly. Amplify. Your lazy lifesteal. As if this even needs a buff. Now this, oh, don't get me started on this. It's one of the few abilities in the game where you can cancel an ally's backing animation. And obviously, that's its main purpose. Mm. Now, if I haven't convinced you already that this guy is the easiest easy mode so Solo cure, then his ult just turns him into a goddamn vampire. I mean, you literally steal their health. But wait, there's more! You also steal their armor and their magic resist. But wait, there's more! He's never banned in champion select, so that's looking good. But wait, there's more! He's a redhead. But wait, there's more! Do I really need to go on? You do not get the point by now. If you're really not convinced, then just keep picking Teemo top and enjoy the flame. So what do we build? Key Trundy Mundle? Get the fat items, the big fat items, fat with a PH. In fact, you know what? Get any items. You can win with any items on Trundle, okay? This build's nice, but any will do. I could go full AP Trundle and still win. In fact, I'm going to prove this to you now. I'm going to be streaming Trundle right now, and I will take any build suggestion I see in chat and still win because I'm so confident that Nunu, wait, Trundle, because I'm so confident that this guy is the easiest champ in the game. Let's go! Over